Today, guys, we are at Acme doing one of my favorite look ever. When I was a kid, I was a huge fan of the Wizard of Oz. I had a huge obsession with Dorothy shoes, thinking I need to wear this as red glitter lips. <laughs> so Acme is actually the perfect place for this. That's why I really wanted to do my makeup there and to show it to you. It's a sexy, mysterious place, very cool vibe at night. And I was really thinking that it would be the perfect atmosphere to create this look. I was super excited when Pat McGrath designed a product for this, like a lip kit for this look. I don't think the product is available because I tried to look online and I didn't see it. So I got other products to show you guys so you can still recreate that look. And I will put links so you can find other products to create this look besides Pat's. It's super easy and it has a very strong impact. So you guys should just go for it. So for this, I'm not going to put too much foundation. What I'm going to focus on is having no shadows on my face. That much, so I'm going to put the concealer under my eyes and pat it with a beauty blender. Also, I want to remove the darkness around my lips and around my nose. Just the idea is like when I have such a statement somewhere on my eyes or on my lips, I like to not have foundation because otherwise I feel like I look too overdone but I like to remove the shadows just to keep it fresh. That's why I'm going to use Glossier Highlighter because it's natural, glowy, healthy, a little bit metallic, which is exactly what I need. And I'm going to apply it all over the highlight zone. For mascara, I'm going to go with this one. I'm a huge fan of this Sephora mascara because it's very black, very intense a little bit shiny. The only problem, guys, is like it's super pigmented, so your lash is gonna look amazing, but to remove, it's a little bit of a pain. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite lipstick from Estee Lauder. It's the Quiet Riot. It was part of my trio lips kit that I did with them. And this is gonna be the perfect base because I wanna create some dimension. And even though I'm going to recover my lips with glitter, to have like a darker red underneath is really going to create a little bit of a dimension. So I apply it overall and then just right before it dries up, I'm going to grab the lipstick on my hand and I'm going to use this as a blush because the color is gorgeous as a blush. So then I don't have to carry too many products. Now I'm going to apply another one of my favorite lipstick is a lip stain from Sephora again and it's a beautiful red. It doesn't dry up the lips too much so it's perfect. And I'm going to apply this overall, the Quiet Riot, on the center. So I'm not going to apply it everywhere but I'm going to really keep it on the center to create again this dimension I told you about. So here is my little bag of glitter. You, all, you know me, I always travel with this cute little bag. And with a brush, I'm going to pat and apply it all over my lip. So I'm going to start with the center, just because sometimes I actually like to keep it in the center. But today I thought I actually wanted to go over everything. But it's good to try because for some lips, like a bit of a smaller lips than me, it's actually very, very beautiful to just keep it in the center, but today I'm just gonna go all over. So like I was saying, really a major inspiration for me because I was a big fan of the Wizard of Rose when I was a kid. And I obsessed really hard on these shoes. For some weird reason, my brain always connected shoes and lipstick. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I have no idea. And I was always thinking, okay, I need to have these shoes as a lipstick one day. So here we go. Uh, wearing really one of my favorite look and happy to show it to you. I think it's such an easy look. Yes, you can't really kiss, but look, you can still drink. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's just about feeling great, feeling yourself, feeling fabulous and being inspired for the night to come. Thank you.